In unserem nächsten Projekt sprechen die Jugendlichen ähm, besser Englisch als Deutsch. Deswegen wird das auf Englisch moderiert und vorgestellt, nur dass ihr und sie uns hört. So, our next project is this topic Garden. As we all know, many people nowadays are in denial about climate change. Maybe one of the reasons is that they say they don't really see or feel it in their lives. Maybe they say, well, as long as there is snow, how can the earth be heating up? So this is a problem that people are not aware enough, that they don't feel it. And our next pro project tries to visualize this development in a playful way. And this group will show you how dramatic climate change really is. And this group consists of Annabelle, Dila, Azra, Jonas, Musab, Hassan and Alenia. Great applause from our group, this topic garden. So hi, we are the alpaca gardeners and my name is Annabelle. Um, for the past two days, we have been working at our project which, will, which we will proudly present. We named it the dystopic garden. Our goal was to create a game that shows the possible outcome of nature in the future. The presentation will be divided into four parts, the inspiration, the concept, the development, and the outlook. Most of the inspiration um, that we got were mostly from our surroundings, but to make the game special and unique, we had to ask and answer some questions to ourselves. The first and most important question was, how will the garden look like and how should it transform? Last but not least was the question, which impact do we humans have over the garden and also the nature? So this is on the, uh, our concept and our game page. So the basic idea is that the player walks through the garden and you start uh, at the beginning where nature is very beautiful and it looks like very familiar like a garden would look nowadays. And the further you go into the garden, the more dystopic, dark it will get until you land at the end of the garden where it's really dystopic and where you see what kind of impact humanity had to the garden itself. So our game is a walking simulator, which you made with Unity. And it plays in the present and then goes to the future. So it's like um, the starting is in the present now and then the player walks through different times and ends up in the futuristic nature. And as we said before, it's like a garden and our theme is the downfall of nature. And we want to make people aware of their impact on destroying nature and, yeah, like open their eyes. Uh, hi. Uh, as you can see here, this is beginning our games. This is the utopic part, which is look beautiful and green. And this is the dystopic part, uh, which is looking very dark and polluted. Uh, if we don't protect our world, it, it, it will be look like dystopia. Um, so to make this project happen, we divided in some groups and we focused on some aspects of the game. Uh, and as you can see here, sound effects and animations were done by Musab. Level design using uh, Unity 3D was done by me, Alena and Jonas. And story was done by Azra and Annabelle. And the tex texture design for some assets wa was uh, done by Dila. And uh, in the next slide, we will see a short video of the gameplay so that you can see it better and you can uh, really see what we have done uh, yesterday and today. So there is normally a sound um, as well and you can see uh, some natural sounds in the first room and yeah, um, there are more of trees in the first room and um, as you go, uh, the door will open and now you will see like piles of logs on the ground, some trees chopped down, uh, logs and yeah, uh, this part is the more, this part is the more dystopic part and as you further go, it will even get more uh, dystopic.
Um, now I will talk about how can we improve our project. Um, we can add more objects and animations. We can add NPCs and um, we can uh, uh, make uh, different endings and different paths to uh, de uh, develop the um, map. Yeah. So we don't have much time, so I will just talk about this. And you can see we learned how to use Unity 3D uh, game engine and how to manage time very well. And I think we didn't learn it much because we didn't manage the time. So thank you, everyone. <laughs> and <laughs> that's all from us. Come up here. Come in front of the table, please. Thank you very much for the great presentation. I was wondering, um, you mentioned that you use the Unity engine, and I'm, I have no idea about game design. So who was using the Unity engine for the first time? All of you, more or less. So no, none of you had any experience with Unity before. So what did you learn about Unity? Like maybe one or two things that you know now that you can use for future projects, maybe one or two answers. So the first day, the mentors were sitting down with us and they um, started explaining everything to us from the beginning. Like at first it was just like a black screen and then we put a f like a ground and they explained how to move people, how to add sound effects. And we started from like the beginning because most of us didn't know very well how to even use the program. Mm -hmm. w would you like to add something? Well, yeah, we, we just spent the first hours on like knowing how, uh, learning how to use the engine in general, and then we started to get something done, even though we had some technical issues uh, at the beginning, and Unity has a tendency that something just like don't work at some point. So you could say that you had a very steep learning curve because you learned a lot of things. And what would you say was the best thing about working in your group? Like, what was the most fun or the most interesting or just like one or two highlights maybe. One of you guys who hasn't said anything? Um, so I think the group was, like everyone in the group uh, was very helpful and uh, we helped each other uh, anytime we had some issues. Uh, I couldn't connect the sound, add the sound animations and Musab always helped me. Or sometimes we, we were so confused and we just started to like chat among each, each other and like uh, spend some time to relax. So I believe the group was amazing. Uh, both in terms of like having fun and also doing the work. So you learned a lot about team play, you would say. You would want to add something? And also in our group, as he said before in the presentation, we divided each other in different parts. So um, like a few people had level design and unity, a few people did the storyline, and we divided it. So like if I'm not really creative, like I'm not really creative, so I'm not good in the storyline. So other people did this, and I think that was good. Perfect. That sounds like, like awesome teamwork. A great applause again for this topic garden. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.